So for today's project, I'm going to convert my old analog radiator knob with a digital connected smart home plug. So why I got this is because I like to sleep when it's nice and cold and I'm way too lazy to turn all the knobs off for the night. So uh, with this one, I can set up smart schedules and it basically cools it down for the night, uh, warms it up so when I wake up it's nice and warm and then when I'm off to work it kind of cools it down again. It also has smarter features where you have like a geofencing around the area you live so if you go away it should automatically uh, turn the heating down but that is for a extra subscription fee which was quite expensive from what I uh, remember it's kind of five dollars per month or something and way your price for something that should also be able to work offline so no, not gonna go for that. It also sets the heating by the actual temperature. So unlike with the analog, where you could go like 50%, 100%, whatever, it uh, tries to keep to the actual temperature you have chosen. So that is very useful if the weather varies a lot. So yeah, overall for me, this is mainly for comfort. I can just set everything from the phone. With uh, schedules, it's really nice and useful. It also connects to my Google Home, so I can just tell Google to crack it down, crank it up. The only thing I would complain about this is that uh, it has a limit of 25 degrees for the maximum heating. Um, well, the explanation for that is that for each uh, degree over 25, the heating bill is supposed to go up uh, really a lot. But I mean, if I want it warm, I want it freaking warm. So uh, there might be a reason for that. Maybe I'm coming out from the cold, want to get warm for an hour or two. I should be able to do that. But it doesn't really allow you to do that out of the box, that is. Uh, you can adjust it to have an offset. So uh, let's say offset of minus six. So if you uh, put like 25 in the app, it would in reality be kind of 30. Uh, so I guess it works, but it just is so freaking stupid. Why would you do that? It's just doing the same thing with extra steps. So not a big fan of that, but I can get around it. Uh, so for me, it's minus six uh, degrees down. I'm keeping my place around 21, 22 degrees. And then if I really want it, I have the room to crank it up. So to get the whole thing running, you need one of the starter kits. That kind of includes the brains for the operations. Uh, it just plugs into your ethernet port on your router and you're good to go. And you can buy individual knobs for each radiator. Uh, when you're looking into Dado uh, devices, you can also see this little other one that has a little rectangular controller or something. This is meant for kind of an overall thermostat for some, I guess, newer buildings that have everything centralized. Uh, but yeah, uh, for older buildings, all you need is a starter kit and some knobs. And here we go, RA02. You basically regulate by screwing in here. And you can just take it off by screwing a little bit to the side. This little guy goes on top, really goes all the way up here. Little screw in there. After that, And now we just just calibrating, and there we go. So living room. Smart schedule, so I have cool down during the night. A little bit warm in the morning and cold again when I'm at work and then evening is a nice 22 degrees or so 